Hi everyone, welcome back to Week in Tech. Today I'm back with another tutorial content on how to easily log into your Charter.net account. Charter.net is an American telecommunication and mass media company with services branded as Spectrum. Simply keep watching the video till the end to learn how to log into it and don't forget to subscribe to our channel by hitting that subscribe button. Also press the notification bell icon so that you'll never miss another upcoming update from us. Start off by opening up a web browser. Go to the search box at the top and you can type in www.charter.net and press enter. You can see that the web address has changed to www.spectrum.net. You can also type in www.spectrum.net in order to end up in this page over here. Click the sign in button from the home page or you can also click the sign in button at the top right hand corner and this will take you to the login area. If you are an existing customer for charter.net then you can simply go ahead and enter your username and your password to get access to your account. But if you've not created an account yet, click on create a username link at the top and follow the on prompts. Once you have an account, you can easily log into it. Simply enter your username in the sign-in area. Now head over to the next field, type in your password. If you'd like the system to remember your username so that you won't have to type it in again and again next time you try to log into your account, make sure to leave this box checked. But leave it unchecked if you are using a public device or a shared computer for your security. Now confirm that you are not a robot by clicking on this little box over here. Finally, scroll a bit down and after you are done entering all of your credentials, you can click the sign in button to get access to your account. In case you don't remember your username or your password, then simply click on forgot username or password link and follow the on-screen prompts after clicking the sign in button and if all of your credentials are correct then you can easily get access to your charger.net account or your spectrum.net account. I hope the tutorial was helpful to you. If it was, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. I'll be back soon with more tutorial videos like this. Thank you for watching.